Hello, my name is Sarah Jane Fitzpatrick and I am the National Skin Health Clinical Trainer with Clarion Medical. Welcome to the World PRP Instructional Guide video. I will now walk you through what is included in the blood draw kit. The blood draw kit includes a 21 gauge butterfly vena puncture, a 30 ml syringe, a 10 ml syringe of sodium citrate, the anticoagulant, red lure adapter, lure lock to lure lock tube connector, two 5 ml syringes, two 3 ml syringes, a 1 ml syringe, and a non latex tourniquet. Recommended additional medical supplies required. Gloves, alcohol wipes, hand sanitizer, gauze or cotton, band-aid, half inch micropore tape, large mouth sharps container for disposal or biohazard bag. We will now demonstrate how to use the medical supplies to perform a blood draw. This is for demonstration purposes only. This is not a phlebotomy training. Put gloves on and prime the 30 ml syringe by pulling the plunger back and forth a few times. Insert 2 ml of sodium citrate from the Citraflow syringe into the 30 ml syringe using the red lure lock to lure lock connector. Next, take the butterfly blood collection set and pull away the dark gray tip. Be careful as there is a needle within the dark gray tip placed into the sharps container. Attach the butterfly needle to the 30 ml syringe. Now apply the tourniquet to the patient's arm. Have the patient make a fist. Check for veins in the pressurized arm. The vein will feel like a trampoline. Cleanse the area to be punctured with an alcohol wipe. Remove protector cap from needle. Pull the skin tight using your non-dominant hand. Insert the butterfly vena puncture, bevel up. You will see a flash of blood in the tubing once you have punctured the vein. An optional step here is to use the micropore tape to tape the butterfly to the patient's arm. Slowly draw 23 ml of blood into the 30 ml syringe that has the 2 ml of sodium citrate. Remove the butterfly and apply a band-aid or cotton with micropore tape to the puncture. Slide the protective yellow cover to shield the needle for safe disposal. Remove the butterfly from the 30 ml syringe and discard all biological matter as per regulation. The 30 ml syringe containing 23 ml of whole blood and 2 ml of sodium citrate are now ready to be transferred into the World PRP Hourglass. World PRP Tube Anatomy Overview The World PRP components are outlined in the image. Let's take a look at the components. The outer port cap is used to carefully insert the collected blood sample through the outer port into the top chamber of the hourglass. It is also where after centrifugation, you collect the quantity of desired platelet-rich plasma. The inner port cap and the inner port is an opening where a 1 ml syringe can be inserted at the surface of the Buffy coat for its removal by aspiration from the neck of the device. The inner port also acts as a separator between the top chamber and the bottom chamber. The top collar is used for turning either counterclockwise or clockwise to open or seal the connection between the top chamber and the bottom chamber. After centrifugation, the red blood cells are separated into the bottom chamber with the buffy coat on the surface. The bottom collar is used for gently turning counterclockwise, moving the inner piston up, pushing the buffy coat into the neck of the device and then into the top chamber. The following are the steps to prepare your World PRP tube. The World PRP tube is a single-use sterile product. Prior to use, check the expiry date of the product on the side of the BioKit packaging box. Check for any damage to the packaging and product. Do not use if the product date is expired. Do not use if the inner seal is broken as it is no longer sterile. Do not use if damaged. With gloved hands, unpack the World PRP tube from the sterile packaging. Located inside the World PRP tube packaging is an additional lure-to-lure -lure lock should you need it. Open the sterile packaging. 
Confirm the top chamber is open to the bottom chamber. To adjust, close the top collar and reopen. Hold the outer port facing you and turn the collar counterclockwise one and a quarter turns. Confirm the bottom chamber is open to the 15 ml mark. To adjust, gently rotate the bottom collar clockwise until the top of the internal piston is at the 15 ml mark. Open outer port cap and transfer the whole blade into the World Gear P2 using the 30 ml syringe without a needle. Do not push the plunger with force. Lean the tube at a less than 45 degree angle and gently transfer the whole blade. Reseal the outer port cap after the transfer by closing. Using your index finger, press down on both the outer port cap and inner port cap, ensuring they are both closed. Ensure the weight of the World PRP tube and counterweight are equal within a 5 gram variance. Ensure the centrifuge is on a stable surface, power cord attached and unit is turned on. Both are located on the back of the centrifuge. Place the World PRP tube and counterweight tube into the centrifuge, aligned across from each other. Close the lid and lock. On the front of the centrifuge there are 1, 2 and 3 minute spin time options. Select the 3 minute option. This is located above the lock button on the front of the centrifuge. To select this option, press the lock button once to lock the centrifuge. Then again until you see the 3 minute option selected. This will be indicated by a green light. Now press the start button on the left hand side and this will begin the spin cycle. The centrifuge cycle is a 3 minute spin with a 30 second ramp up and a 30 second slowdown. The angle of the roll PRP tubes inside the centrifuge start at a 45 degree angle and will change to a horizontal 90 degree angle during the 3 minute spin cycle and then return to a 45 degree angle when complete. If the centrifugation spin cycle is incomplete, verify that 1. The centrifuge is on a stable level surface. Two. The top chamber of the World PRP tube is open to one and a quarter turns, allowing the blood to flow between both chambers. 3. The weight of the counterweight and whole blood sample are equal within a 5 gram variance. Once the cycle has stopped, unlock the lid and slowly remove the World PRP tube. The red blood cells will be located in the bottom chamber. The Buffy coat sits immediately on top of the red blood cells in the lower chamber of the tube. The center of the chamber will contain the platelet-rich plasma, and finally the top portion will contain the platelet-poor plasma. Rise the red blood cells and Buffy coat by turning the bottom collar counterclockwise until the Buffy coat has reached the neck of the World PRP tube. Slowly turn the bottom collar until the Buffy coat has been transferred into the top chamber, leaving the red blood cells in the neck of the tube. Turn the collar clockwise to seal off the connection between the top and bottom chambers. Possible collection options. Option 1. For a 3.5 times concentration with roughly 67 ml of PRP, immediately after sealing the red blood cells in the bottom chamber, tilt the hourglass towards you at a 45 degree angle, with the outer port at 6 o'clock position, and aspirate half the contents. The aspirated contents are the platelet-rich plasma and Buffy coat. This will leave the platelet-poor plasma in the hourglass. Option 2. When a higher volume of PRP is needed, 12 to 14 mLs, at a 1.8 times concentration, gently swirl the PRP tube to mix the PPP, PRP and Buffy coat. Then aspirate the full volume of PRP preparation through the outer port into the selected syringes. Your PRP preparation is now ready for use.